Just like the plants in my jungle, today we're talking about building community resilience. Resilience is a term that has been thrown around a ton lately, and it's kind of walking the verge of being overused. But sitting here in the jungle, I realize that resilience can be seen all around us. Like some of these plants started as pieces of the plants that had broken off previously. I nurtured them in a bit of water and some sunlight and planted them into nutrients rich soil and now they're thriving and being able to produce their own extra plants etc etc the cycle of life is beautiful but what I mean to use this story for as an example is that no matter how harsh the conditions are when you have a community that is built on a resilient model you're going to see that community thrive so in order for you to see that thriving community and that thriving business, you need to understand that you have to stop being a snowplow and you have to stop hogging all the spotlight. And I'm gonna share with you the biggest lesson I learned from working with some of the hardest working veterans in the world. All this and more, stay tuned. <laughs> The most important thing you need to do in order to build up your community members' resilient strengths and skills is to give them the tools they need to do it themselves. So as coaches and small business owners, as entrepreneurs, as problem solvers, what we're doing is we're matching solutions to people's problems. And when we want to give them the results that are going to get them, we want to give them those tools that are going to get them results. So are there online tools that will help them do their work faster? Are there tools that are going to help them broaden their research skills or connect to new audiences? How are we enabling our people to weather the next storm? Whether that's um, Facebook ads. Remember face the Facebook ad apocalypse when all of the rates completely changed overnight and people were paying 10 times the amount for ads that just ended up not converting in the end? And we can see if maybe Facebook shuts down entirely and people will lose entire segments of their business. Maybe there's the world goes into lockdown and everyone who has been pushing a health and fitness lifestyle that involves going to the gym, well now the gyms are shut down. So how are you enabling your people to continue to thrive no matter what the storm around them? So think about those fundamental tools that they can use, whether those are actual tools like an online tool that will allow you to do some cool graphics for your live stream way easier than you would if you had to pay for a, a designer to make them, for example. A simple tool that helps them accomplish a little thing, move on um, and, and help with that pivot? Or are you giving them a more fundamental type of structure where say it's the gym shutting down? Are you teaching your people that diet and exercise are the fundamentals or are you only teaching them what happens in a gym? That's the trick with niching down too far. But are, think about what kinds of tools and strategies are you doing and giving your people in order to see them thrive. And also throw down in the comments below, I want to know what kind of tools you use in your business. Um, and for everyone who comments, I'm going to reward you with a, with a tool that we use in the visibility hacking movement. So drop your comments below, get some free stuff and help have this conversation in this community. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that you have to stop hogging the spotlight. And what that means is that you have to stop thinking about yourself as the leader of your movement, as the head or the face of your business. You have to stop thinking about yourself as the only one in the spotlight. Yes, everyone's eyeballs are definitely going to be on you, but if you want to step into the space of influence, where you want to have people more easily convert from being passive viewers into actually engaged members of your community who are avidly purchasing your products and working their way through your programs, what you have to do instead of just being the center of attention is you have to start allowing and creating for opportunities for your community members to talk to themselves. This cross communication in our programs allows for a much deeper sense of community, a much deeper relationship for each other, more reasons for people to come into the group. 
And what's incredible, what I've seen with some of our clients who have more established, larger groups, like a thousand or more members in their Facebook groups, what we're seeing is that the richness of content that comes out from a highly engaged group like that is absolutely beautiful. Yes, it's a mix of having community managers and having engaged followers, but ultimately what it leads down to is having a truly deep connection between members of your community. When they know that they are coming into your group, not only for your expertise, but to hang out with their friends, we're going to start seeing different chemicals in their brains firing off. There's different things that are happening in the human body that lead us to want to be part of those groups. It's the neurology of love. It's, it's what we feel when we want to hang out with our friends as opposed to when we go to that job interview or when our boss calls us in and tells us we're about to be fired or when that client has a complaint that we just don't want to deal with, that sinking feeling inside of us. So we get rid of that by making sure that we're creating a space that leans into those positive feelings, those good chemicals, those feelings of warmth and connection between each other. And we do this in the online space by creating opportunities for our people to talk to each other. Talking about talking to each other, not only do I wanna see you guys commenting down in the comment section of these videos, but I want you to join the community by hitting that subscribe button. Join us for the journey every week. We release brand new videos covering everything you need to know about raising your influence, your authority, and your income online. And I wanna see you along for the journey, so come along. Now the final lesson in today's Today's video is focused around flexibility and adaptability. No matter what conditions you find yourself or your community finds themselves, having an underlying foundation of flexibility and adaptability, an understanding that when you walk in front of a challenge, when you something, an obstacle gets in your way, you're going to embrace it. Instead of going, oh no, there's an obstacle in my way, you say, all right. Bring on the challenge. Put on your entrepreneurial hat, put on that problem solving hat and go on, find solutions because that's what you are best at. And when you enable your community with that same feeling of trust in their own skills, going back to the giving them the tools they need to do it themselves, right? When you give them that feeling inside of them that they know they will be able to accomplish this, then you're going to build that resiliency. So for you coaches out there, when you're building programs for your people or you're a course creator and you're building a course to teach your people how to do a certain skill or get into a certain industry, what you need to make sure that you're doing is giving them the foundation that's going to help them not only use the tools that you've given them, but to creatively engage with the problems they will find themselves engaging in. I think that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be able to do for your people. So look for those opportunities and definitely lead by example. Be loud about the flexibility and adaptability in your own business, in your own movement. Highlight the things that are challenging and roadblocks that you're facing in your business and share those as parts of your journey. Your people are going to want to see that. They want to know who you are, that you're human. Remember, our attractive characters who have achieved great things are also relatable characters. People who struggle, people who are just like me and you and all of your community members. So connect to your tools, connect to your people, and connect to each other. Because with all of those strategies, plus the ones that you will find in our Visibility Hacking Secrets training, which is linked down below, you're going to be able to raise your visibility, your influence, your authority, and ultimately your income online. So definitely check the link, join us for that training. And in the meantime, check out one of these videos because I think you will enjoy them.